welcome to my youtube channel so i'm gonna be showing you guys exactly what i eat every single morning every single lunch time and every single evening wish me luck for this video because there's gonna be a lot of filming and i hope that i remember to film what i eat every single day i also work and sometimes it's just like i have maybe five seconds to quickly grab a snack and to eat it between my classes and between my teaching i always see people walking in kitchens that like big and open and so echoey and just a very aesthetic looking kitchen you know what i mean just pleasing to the eye this is not very pleasing to the eye but for this video i want to try and look past that because every single time i film in this kitchen it bothers me the way that it looks <sighs> Like, to me, I'm a very visual person. I will watch something if it looks good. So if I'm filming in a place that I feel like doesn't look good, then my entire performance is struggling under that. <laughs> like, literally. I want to be happy with the space that I'm filming in, but I have come to terms with this kitchen and I've made peace with um, the way that it looks. Like, I know it's not that bad. It's just wood that's painted and behind me but i don't like the cabinets i don't like that there's no like door here as well the lines in this kitchen and the colors and everything just seems so harsh to the eye and i just try to look past that because i know that not everybody cares about that a creator has a specific look that they go for in their mind so it's not that like i'm being ungrateful just want to say that like i'm really grateful for this kitchen because the previous kitchen was so small that only one person could go in there maybe two but it would still be too cramped so this kitchen being so big is like a major major plus okay so there you guys have it i just vented to you guys about my kitchen struggles lovely <laughs> Blueberries, strawberries. These strawberries are literally from the strawberry farm. So they are as fresh and as delicious as you can get. Seeds are so good for so many different things. Breakfast is ready. These are the sweetest strawberries that I have ever tasted in my entire life. Let's get some work done. First cup of coffee for the day. I'm starting my teaching in one hour and I'm also trying to finish my new YouTube video so that I can post it today. There's this one student who I really, really miss. Her name is Laura. I came back to my schedule to see which classes I have for the first month of 2023 and I didn't see her name anywhere and I realized like, oh, she's not booking my classes anymore so she's obviously done. I've had this student since 2021 so she's the one student who I've had for the longest time. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. I just miss her so much, like... This is the first student ever, ever, who I had to say goodbye to after a very long time. I never had to go through this experience of having a student for like a whole year and creating a really, really personal bond with them and a personal understanding. Seeing her go from not being able to read at all to after a year being able to read really really well you know you create a special bond and you do start to love your students i just didn't think that it's going to hit me this hard i'm so sad oh my god <laughs> i feel so silly for crying but i love my students so much anyway i'm gonna stop talking now i'm gonna wipe my tears away i'm gonna be happy 
and I'm gonna think about the new students that I get to teach. even have time right now to actually film this i have to enter my class in 10 minutes i am quickly gonna eat because i'm absolutely starving yes i have 10 minutes to warm this up and try to eat as much as possible since i don't really have time to always make food i just have leftovers in here from yesterday which is chicken squash rice a little bit of potato and some mixed veg over there carrots and cabbage and this is supper Basically, so I'm gonna go get bacon at another place and I'm gonna quickly look for rooties while I'm in Boulders. Yesterday's so it's hard to carry. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry? We only have these bags at the time. Oh, yes, yeah, it's okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the club, eh? Enjoy the club, eh? any place I would have rooties. I went into the other store and they didn't have anything. They didn't have arrows, they didn't have rooties. They, they literally had none of the ingredients that I looked for at the previous shop. So I am looking in pick and pay now. Also, I don't really want to talk too much right now because people are staring at me. Just came back from the grocery store. Smoked chili topping. It is so so nice it's like a tangy mayonnaise it's not too spicy as long as you don't use too much but it's so 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 delicious i have to feed myself because no one else will i have to look after my own body because no one else will am i right or am i right this is so old i'm gonna go throw it away now I literally have three minutes to eat. I actually feel embarrassed about how quick I have to make with filming everything and with eating and with teaching, but I don't have a choice. I am so rushed. Welcome to my daily life. This video actually turns out to be so much more than just what I eat in a week. You guys also get to see how busy I am and how limited my time is. I cannot talk now. Hey guys, it's currently 6.30, there's low chatting, so no electricity. I cannot warm up my food, but I'm so hungry. I'm actually starving. So I just quickly want to show you guys what I'm going to eat tonight before I actually eat. The power is going to be off for another hour and a half, so it's only coming on at 8pm. And by then I'll probably be 
doing something else besides vlogging so i just want to show you guys what i will be eating spaghetti my favorite at least one of my favorites i know it looks very boring and plain it's just mints and spaghetti but i actually really like it plain and simple with just green peppers and onions I am so surprised. I had no idea that it would be this flavorful. What you guys just saw there was a very well put together video of me cooking. When in reality, it actually took me the entire day because halfway through, I thought that I would be done much quicker. But unfortunately, I had an online class. So I actually had to leave everything in the oven, turn the oven off, and then go teach for the entire day and only afterwards, like afternoon at 5 p.m., it's currently half past five, the food is only done now. I started with it this morning at like 8 a.m. and I'm done now at 5 p.m. It literally took the whole day. took my supper out of the oven to warm it up because there's low shedding so I cannot use the microwave but this is what I'm having for supper tonight it's sausage roll cucumber and lettuce that I'm having with some ketchup this is pretty South African I would say sausage rolls are very very popular here it is literally so dark you cannot even see anything no lights pitch black dark welcome to South Africa I will be working until late tonight, so I honestly cannot wait to be done with my work and then I can go to sleep with a full belly after a nice plate of food. Love you guys, good night. I'm trying a different angle for my recording. Is this gonna work? Kind of? This is homemade strawberry jam that I'm very proud of because I made it with my mom. It's actually so easy to make homemade strawberry jam and it is so much cheaper than the strawberry jam that you would buy in the stores. I mean, 10 times cheaper. You could make so much more if you just make it at home. But making strawberry jam definitely requires a lot of patience. Traditionally, we actually have um, curry mints on Fedcook but I don't have curry mince today and I'm having curry tonight, chicken curry. So I'm just putting strawberry. 
I have 20 minutes to eat this for lunch. This is a small plate, as you can see, here's my hand. So that's about the size of the fish and a little bit of potato salad with some raw onions and parsley. I usually sit over here at my desk and eat my lunch as I'm waiting for my classes over there to start. But for today, I'm actually just gonna go sit on my bed and relax. I'm pretty motivated to continue my classes today. It's not that I don't want to, I just feel very low on energy i guess i just need to take it easy don't think there's anything really bad about having a day where i feel like you don't have a lot of energy we all get those days and it's nothing it's not even something serious some days you just have to take it a little bit more relaxed i'm glad that i'm recording a what i eat in a week video because for the first time now i'm actually realizing that i do have time to eat my lunch i don't have to skip lunch it does feel a little bit rushed. The only reason why I like to skip my lunch is honestly because I don't like rushing my food. I eat pretty slow. I'm usually the last one at the table to finish my food. Like even if I'm hungry, I usually don't finish first or even second. Not only does eating fast cause you to gain weight and not only is it unhealthy, but it also causes you not to really enjoy your food. Like if I have to rush eating, I'm not gonna enjoy my food because I have to rush. And this is what I have left. Potato salad and some pieces of fish. We are gonna make Indian food, a proper Indian curry. I haven't made this in months. And also I've only ever made it twice in my life before, which was last year in 2022. I don't like anything that's too spicy. So when I say Indian curry, I mean like it will be spicy, but it will not be too hot to handle. Thank you. 